Hey guys, this is going to be a new series that's going to come out every Monday on my channel, and it's going to be Research With Me. So what I'm going to do, instead of just having videos on my channel that are telling you how I do stuff or how to do stuff, I want to actually take you behind the scenes and let you actually see me come up with a research project, do a research project, write a research article, all of that stuff. So that's what this series is all going to be about. And I'm actually going to do this specifically just for this series. So this isn't a research project associated with my work, associated with schooling or anything like that. It's just for you guys to be able to come behind the scenes so I can share things that any academic couldn't share because we can't share our data and things like that. So that's what this series is going to be all about. So Today, I'm going to be showing you how I'm actually going to choose the topic that I'm going to be working on. So I'm going to jump onto my computer so I can screen capture a little bit of this so that you guys can see exactly how I'm coming up with this new topic. So my first step is just going to be um, choosing a subject. One thing that's really important whenever you're coming up with a research topic is that you want to make sure that you have the basic background information to be able to pursue that topic. So if you are someone who wants to pursue a topic in, let's say, physics, but you've never even taken a physics class outside of high school, it's going to be really, really hard for you to be successful in that topic. So what I'm first going to do is just outline what are the different topics that I at least have like an undergraduate level understanding of because that's going to be one of the topics that I want to choose from. So I have um, chemistry. Obviously, I have a PhD in it. Um, I would say some biology. I know psychology. I actually, if you don't know, I have a... Um, graduate minor in women's and gender studies, a minor in psychology, and a major, an undergraduate or a bachelor's in um, sexuality and gender studies. So I have a decent understanding of that. I also minored in physics, so I could attempt that, even though that is not probably what I would want to do. So these are, I would say, the main topics that I have at least an undergraduate level of. So for this particular thing, I'm not going to do chemistry. And the main reason is because that's what I mainly have talked about on this channel. So I think it's a little bit more helpful for y'all to see me really learn something that's completely outside of my wheelhouse, like I was an intro grad student trying to do this for the first time. So I'm also not going to do biology or physics, mainly just because biology and physics to actually be able to do it, I would likely have to need a lab to get the data that I would need to do a research um, article. So that's probably not a good method for me to do. So I think what I'm going to work in is something having to do with psychology. Um, so if you're a psychology major and you're excited about this, you know, leave me a comment below. Um, but I think I'm going to kind of focus on psychology here just because I know that there's a lot of publicly available data sets in psychology. I was really, really interested in psychology. I almost actually went and got a second PhD in it. So this would be kind of a good practice run for that. Um, so then the second step I'm going to do is I want to think about a research field. So I have a subject is psychology, but there's still so much research within psychology. I mean, there's even lab research in psychology um, as well, especially if you're doing like developmental psychology or stuff like that. But I'm going to be focusing on a field. So this is where I'm going to think about what are my specific interests. So whenever you're having a topic, you want to make sure you have a topic that you're interested in. If you have a professor or an advisor, you want to make sure that they're at least interested in it if it's not directly related to their topic. Because if your advisor is not interested in what you're doing, it's just going to make things difficult down the road for you. So 
matching your advisor's topic, obviously I'm just doing this for you guys. So I don't actually have an advisor or anything. I can kind of choose anything I want to do. Um, and then you want to make sure that obviously you have the background knowledge. That's what I talked about in the first one. And then the fourth thing is you have the means to be able to do this. So that's what I was talking about when I said I'm not going to do biology or physics because I don't have the means to get the data I need to complete a research project. So if we are talking about a field, um, there are a few different fields in psychology that I could think about doing. So one, um, I think mental health. is um, an interesting field. And obviously these aren't research questions. So like mental health is a really, really broad field um, that you could talk about. There's also, for me, I'm super interested in gender and sexuality. So obviously I have degrees in it. That's something that I'm super interested in. Um, just kind of thinking about other fields that I'm interested in potentially pursuing um there's also like um what is it like academic achievement sorry if this is like absolutely horrible handwriting for you guys but i'm basically just breaking down psychology into the different fields that i'm interested in i'm not interested in adolescent psychology i'm not um, particularly interested in a lot of like specific mental health disorders. When I'm thinking about mental health, I'm really thinking about more like um, depression, anxiety, mental health. Um, not that other ones aren't valid, but that that's mainly where I'm thinking about um, academic achievement and something like that. So I think I might mainly focus on these two up here. And I think I'm gonna think about something to do with um, gender, specifically non-binary gender, um, and then either mental health relationships or like belonging. So obviously I'm choosing a general, um, what, what would you refer to it as? I'm choosing like a general field. I'm not even narrowing down to a specific topic yet. So I mainly just want to kind of think about gender, gender non-binary people and, um, you know, understanding the, not necessarily the struggles, but just getting a better understanding. And I know that the other thing is the means, right? So three is, is it feasible? And so I know that there are um, public data sets available. I think Indiana has a ton of public data set um, available that I could pull from. So once I dig into the literature, actually define a specific topic, find a research graph, create a question, I can then probably go and find a data set specifically that would be related to that um, question. And so that's overall what I'm probably going to write this about. If you want to check out the next episode of this series, I am going to be talking about how I'm going to find a review article. So I'm only ever going to work on this research project when I am filming it for you guys so that you know exactly what is going on and um, are really following this, all the steps. These probably aren't going to be highly edited videos um, other than maybe a mistake here or there, cutting it out. But... Most of this is really just going to be me walking through exactly how I'm doing everything I'm doing to do a research project. If you are working on finding a research gap, you can check out this video here on how to find a research gap. And if this content was helpful for you, click the like button below 
and subscribe to this channel so that you will get updated whenever I post more of these videos so you can walk behind the scenes with me as I go through this research project. I hope you enjoyed this video and I look forward to seeing you in the next one.